Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. This is episode 95. With me, cool guy, and you, the awesome viewers. In the last episode, we showed the preview of the RTG. I streamed it afterwards for like, what, two and a half hours? Is on the YouTube channel. You guys can check that out now if you would like to. Um, but I'm here to show you the progress I've made. If you haven't checked out the live stream, all that kind of things. And we're gonna play a couple games here, um, and yeah, just have a just have a little chat about Monday Night Raw. So I am on the Ultimate Brock Lesnar, thirty points on him. Let's get straight into the action, and uh, let's let's talk a little bit about Monday Night Raw. Um, it was it was, uh, it was it was it wasn't that bad. I mean, <clears throat> I think the ending made up for like a bit of a bit of a lackluster show in a way. At the beginning, it wasn't. Lots of uh, it started with like tag team and ta like we had three tag team matches. The, um, the cruiserweights. Then we had Smojo, Kevin Owens versus Chris Jericho and Sami Zayn. And then we had Cesaro and Sheamus uh, versus um, Enzo and Cass. So three tag team matches in a row. Ugh! It was it, it was it well, that was a bit. Obviously, the better match being Smojo and Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn and Chris Jericho. But overall, um, I didn't I didn't love Monday Night Raw, but I thought it was okay. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the ending. Uh, actually, no, let's talk a little bit about Roman versus Jinder Mahal. So I'm not I'm, if you haven't watched Raw, I'm genuinely not joking. We had Jinder Mahal versus Roman Reigns. So about like a minute into the match, we hear one gong, just a gong. The lights stay the same, nothing, nothing, just a gong. Roman gets distracted. Jinder Mahal takes advantage, and you know. Then Roman wins. Easy, easy. Um, and that's it. That's literally it. But then, what do we hear? If oh, I don't want to spoil this for people who um, have watched the show. So if you haven't watched it, this is a perfect time to mute. But what do I hear? You know, actually, what? Let, let's put it... Um, let's do this really quickly. So, this is what I heard. So, Shawn Michaels returned. What? I know. Um, it was, it was alright. I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of Shawn Michaels, never have been, but it's exciting when a superstar returns like that. I'm completely unexpected. So, he returns, um, goes down to the ring. Roman Reigns is still in the ring. And then, it, I was streaming at the point, and I was like, okay, I'm predicting this right now. He's just gonna talk about, oh, you're not focused, you're not in the game, you're, you know, Undertaker's gonna, Undertaker's gonna beat you, you know. And all this rubbish, and you shouldn't take Undertaker easy, you know, shouldn't take uh, Undertaker lightly, you know, he's he's not someone you want to mess around with, blah, 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 pretty much exactly what he said. And then that was it, Roman left, and Roman was like, oh, maybe the Undertaker should be worried about who he's going to be facing at WrestleMania, and then Roman just walked off. And then out of nowhere, Braun just attacked him from behind, absolutely launched him, it was insane how he launched him, and he just, uh, it was great, it was, that segment was okay. Still not the happiest guy in the world to see Undertaker versus Roman Reigns, but you know it's 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 at least we get to see Undertaker, and uh, you know it, yeah, we'll just leave it at that. So let's not really talk about much much like let's not talk about any other really you know things apart from two more things. We're going to talk a bit about the divas, the female superstars, and then that and then we'll talk about what happened at the end of the show. So. It was Dana Brooke versus Sasha Banks in a one-on-one -on -one match. Charlotte was at ringside. Bailey was at ringside, and um, Bailey got the Bailey got the win. She sort of had she kind of had the tights in a way. It's arguable, but like she's definitely turning here. It's 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 as obvious as as daylight. Um, so yeah, anyway, she got the win. Sasha Banks got the win on Dana Brooke. Charlotte afterwards came in the ring, was like, "You, what you're worth is, you, you, so whatever." And then Dana Brooke turned on Charlotte. Yes, Dana Brooke turned on Charlotte. It was pretty cool. Babyface for uh, babyface turn for Dana Brooke. Interesting. We'll see. We'll see what this. Uh, we'll see how it what what it turns into. But uh, intrigued is the word. She actually got quite a big pop for turning on Charlotte. So I'm interested in to see it to see how it goes. Um. Then we have okay now the main event. Well, we had Nia Jax versus Bailey as well, um, which it was Bailey got the win for um, Nia Jax got disqualified. 
But the main event, well, the main event. So, the whole night, there were promos of Stephanie McMahon and, uh, and Mick Foley, obviously. Uh, Stephanie wanted Mick to fire someone by the end of the show. So, we had, like, a bunch of promos going back and forth. Are we going to fire? Have you found someone to fire? Blah, blah, blah. And at the end of the show, Mick comes out, Stephanie comes out. Mick's like, you know who I should fire? You, Stephanie. I should fire you. That was pretty cool. Um, uh, Mick Foley was really standing up for himself. And all of a sudden, Triple H comes out. Lots and lots of quite, like, lots of returns, actually. I mean, we didn't see The Undertaker. But Brock Lesnar was there. Shawn Michaels was there. Uh, Triple H was there. And there's going to be one more person who, who, who made an appearance at the show. But anyway, Triple H comes out. Start insulting Mick and all of this, and and when when you know when Steph says jump, you say how high, you know. Oh, I like I like that expression. Um, or, you know. Anyway, he goes into the corner. Triple H and like Stephanie are posing, you know, by the ring, the other side, and he's all getting fired up. The crowd are chanting, and and all of a sudden Triple H goes to him, and Mr. Socko comes out. That felt really cool to see Mr. Socko. Um, and then low blow from Stephanie. On Mick Foley, Mick Foley's lying in the corner, and then what do we hear? None other than Seth freaking Rollins! And that was really, really cool. Um, Seth Rollins beats down Triple H for a little bit, Triple H then gets the advantage, he, he has the crutch, starts hitting Seth Rollins in the knee and the leg, um, and then uh, and then he gets the advantage, and then, uh, and then that is pretty much the way the show ended. But I know I went, I rambled on about it for a long time, but what a, what, what, what an end of a show, I mean... The ending was great. The ending was really, really good. Um, I, I, it, it's just it's they still rely so much on part timers. I mean, Shawn Michaels made that segment okay with with Roman. Um, still, you know, like wasn't great. Seth Rollins and Triple H had to make a had to make a segment good. You know, to, to, I mean, I know Seth Rollins isn't a part timer, but Triple H is. Um, and I don't know. I don't know. Brock Lesnar. Goldberg, it's so it's so focused on part time as Undertaker. Ah, uh, it's it, it's 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 it focuses a lot on that. But overall, I'll give it like. Look, I don't think I don't think I think apart from the first ever episode of Raw, I think I've I, I'm I might have given it an A. I think I think today, considering three tag matches, two diva matches, a bit of a, a bit of a. Jinder Mahal versus Roman Reigns, Big Show versus oh, who did we even see Big Show against? Big Show versus Titus O'Neil. Ugh. So I'm gonna give it like a C, I think, a, a, a C plus, a, a C plus, or just a C, considering considering most of the time it's it's a good old D or an E, but. The last segment made made it a C. If not, I've given it a good old D minus. But but yeah, it was it was all right. SmackDown's probably going to be better, and uh, I'm glad we got to talk about this because that it's got me to play a couple games of RTG without noticing it. But apart from that, tell me what you guys thought about Monday Night Raw in the comments down below. If you haven't watched it yet, I hope I didn't spoil anything for you guys. But if you haven't watched it yet, you know. Yeah, I'll probably I'll probably go watch it. And let's speak about that. Someone in the Discord just put finally got get to watch Raw. Lol. Lol lol lol. So we've got a day and twelve hours to finish RTG. We're gonna be easily able to do that considering we have we are what? On the ultimate. I don't know if this is gonna be forty points or fifty points on the ultimate. We'll find out in a second. I think it's fifty points on the ultimate card. Uh let's have a look. It's sixty points on the ultimate card, even better. So I do want to show you guys a couple pulls I've got in the last couple of days. I've gotten quite a, a, to be like normally con considering what I get, I get nothing. But these last couple of days, I've got an ultimate pull. I've got a couple of elite pulls, a couple of harden pulls, uh, like five or six SummerSlam pulls. So overall, not bad at all. So let's get into a couple more games because we haven't I haven't brought you guys a long, nice long uh, episode where you guys can just grind RTG on as well. So that's what we'll do here. Um, I finished proing my Bailey as you guys saw in like a couple episodes ago. I still have to pro Roman Reigns, AJ Styles, and obviously when we get Chris, uh, Chris Jericho, the Chris Jericho. But overall, it's not bad because Chris Jericho again is um, he's a he's a left arrow because I'm gonna put Jack Gallagher and Randy Orton, and then I'll put Mankind and 
Chris Jericho in a tag. So that's going to be two amazing tag teams. Um, and then we'll put like uh, Neville, Bret Hart. I think I've got a full King of the Ring of events. Apart from like missing two Divas. But yeah, Bret Hart, Neville. Oh, I'm missing one, aren't I? No, Mankind. Oh, no, I said Mankind. Bret Hart, Neville, Mankind, Randy Orton. Jack Gallagher! I've got Jack Gallagher. No, Jack Gallagher's with Randy Orton. No, no, never mind. So I'm missing an event card. I think. I think I'm missing an event card. But we've, we've got, we've got like Undertaker, Throwback or Stone Cold that we can just throw in there, so. But we'll, we'll have a quick look at where our um, King of the Ring situations are. Because what I'm thinking of doing is we will start a King of the Ring with Chris Jericho. Or do I wait for my freebie in the new tier? I think I wait for my freebie in the new tier. But obviously a single in the next tier isn't going to be as good as a pro. Oh, this is, is going to be interesting. Do you think all the, all the stats will hit 40k? I think, I think because you can hit 40k with the events if they proc or if they're in a tag team. So that, that happens, you, you, you definitely see that quite a bit. So we'll see, we'll see what happens with that. Let me just quickly go on Supercard's Twitter really quickly, and we'll see if they've announced anything. Just, just the uh, and we're back. The servers are back online. Thank you for the patience. RTG has ex extended by two and a half hours. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. So nothing. No announcement of a new update, new tier. Nothing. But so here's a couple of things I forgot to mention yesterday. All the packs are on sale. Um, which looks like there's going to be a new tier because all the packs are on sale. Uh, obviously, the flash event, the money in the bank, things coming to an end, um, all those things I mentioned yesterday. But all the packs are on sale, and that is something I didn't mention. And we're going to have a new, um, a new what's it called? What are those stupid thing called? That that useless update with those useless uh, whatever they are. Well, I completely forgot what they're called because they're so useless. Let's just get. Let's see if we can get a good pick here on on a. Uh, on, on you know, while I'm recording, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, I don't know the last time I pulled an ultimate while recording a video, but it must have been quite a while. It's gonna be really exciting for a new tick. I'm I'm pumped for it. I'm really pumped for it. It's about time. Like, oh yeah, we wanted to. Oh yeah, first of all, uh, they're called attitudes. There we go. I think we get a new attitude soon, if I'm not mistaken. I think we need to go to here and then attitudes and then. Uh, new new deals in okay, so we are gonna get like a well new deal or whatever. Money in the bank ends in two days, sixteen hours. That's when we're gonna see the new tier, I'm guessing, around that time. But let's quickly check out King of the Ring really quickly. So we want to you there. We want to swap you for Bailey. Um, we want to swap you Stone Cold for. Oh wow. I've got all my event cards in already. Never mind. So I'm gonna miss. I'm gonna be missing one event card. We'll put Chris Jericho instead of Stone Cold, and then we've got we're missing an event card. We need one more event. If only I had like Shane McMahon or one of them. But yeah, we're missing an event card, and obviously we're missing we're missing two Divas, but we only had one. But I'm, I'm honestly, it's, it's looking pretty goddamn decent to be fair. I mean, look at look at this. It's definitely looking quite nice. Um, yeah, it's def it's definitely looking quite nice. So, yeah, that's where we're going to leave it, guys, for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quite of a long episode. I bet I'm going to come to the editing, and it's going to be like 10, 12 minutes, and I'm going to be like, oh, that's not that long. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I went on a little bit about Monday Night Raw, and for people who watched, obviously, you, you, for people like, you know, you don't want to sit through listening to me, what I have to say about it. But I just explained what I have to think about it. We'll see what SmackDown gives us tonight. Hopefully, it's a better show. Hopefully it gives us a little bit more storyline, a little bit better matches. Because overall, and like overall, the matches were quite like, there was no real main event. There was nothing like, when you have Tide Sony or Big Show, Jinder Mahal, Roman Reigns, um, Cruiserweight Tag Match, um, Cesaro and Sheamus versus Enzo and Cass again. Um, you know, the only really good match was like Samoa Joe, um, Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Sami Zayn. But anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like if you have enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, take care, and peace out.